This is the best hard meta build for Hunter. It is the single most oppressive, overpowered, ability spam exotic in the Crucible that allows you to constantly have your OP abilities up, heal on kills, dominate zones, control engagement ranges, and most importantly, effortlessly obliterate whole teams with the press of a single button. Allow me to introduce you to the strongest Hunter exotic in the game. Whether you want to easily go flawless, dominate competitive, or just break the spirits of your opponents who control or iron back, Mana, then this build is the burning hot meta. Let's get started. Young Ahamkara Spine buffs the damage of your trip mine grenade as well as the size of the trigger area and blast. We're talking about a sizable buff to both length and girth here boys, the whole shebang. A thick and pendulous buff. An enhanced Ahamkara's grenade quite literally makes your opponent 1 HP and keeps them there as scorch stacks continue to burn them. Explosions also no longer have any damage fall off, meaning that even the lightest touch of an Ahamkara's grenade and your enemy is virtually 1 HP. Just look at how absurd the range and damage of Ahamkara's is in practice. Not only that, it also increases the HP of the grenade itself and gives it 50% damage resist, meaning that it takes forever to destroy, turning trip mines into area denial monsters, preventing opponents from capturing zones and trials, picking up heavy, or reviving a dead teammate. Enhanced trip mines are even more valuable in objective modes like Iron Banner because you already know where your opponent are trying to get to, allowing you to easily lock down whole zones. And this gets even crazier if you have a teammate with Ahamkara's too. Your opponents literally cannot push you at all. Now you may be thinking, surely such an OP grenade ability has a long cooldown, right? Nope. Ahamkara's also gives you grenade energy whenever you damage an opponent with any ability. To be more specific, hitting anyone with your Ahamkara's grenade will always give you 67% of your grenade energy back. 67% whereas any knife melee damage always gives you 33% back. So quick maths, tag someone with your grenade and your proximity knife and you get your grenade back immediately. Tag multiple enemies with your trip mine and you also get your grenade back immediately. This is ability spam heaven or hell if you're on the receiving end. Oh, and we aren't done yet. With just a little bit of extra build crafting, as you'll soon see, I can ensure your trip mines will also heal you on kills while also creating fire sprites for free restoration. So you can just spam nades all day while relentlessly pressuring your opponents. Okay, just quickly guys, out of interest, how many of you guys have tried Young Ahamkara Spines before? If you have, leave me a comment in the comment section below. If you haven't, tell me what your favorite exotic for Hunter is. Don't forget to also drop a like and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more builds from me. As a small creator, it genuinely means the world to me. Thank you. In terms of aspects, Gunslinger can select two out of three possible aspects. Knock him down, on your mark, or gunpowder gamble. For virtually any Gunslinger PvP build, I strongly recommend using knock him down and on your mark. Gunpowder gamble is more of a meme than anything else and offers significantly less utility than the other aspects. Knock him down enhances all of your solar supers and while radiant, final blows with your equipped throwing knife fully refund your melee energy. Apart from the improved supers, what's great about knock em down is that you will always get your knife back on a kill, as long as you pair it with a certain fragment I'll discuss later. This means that you literally have three different ways of getting your knife back by Gambler's Dodge, Knock Him Down and Radiance, or just regenerating it normally. On Your Mark grants you and nearby allies increased weapon handling and reload speed for a short duration after precision final blows and can stack up to three times. But activating your class ability immediately grants you maximum stacks. This aspect is absolutely incredible and provides a huge handling and reload buff on all of your weapons after you dodge, not to mention any stacks that you get from precision kills. I cannot emphasize how incredible this aspect is as you'll find that it's up for large parts of the game. Now you may be asking, is handling really that important? Yes! As you progress higher and higher up the PvP skill ladder, you'll find that handling is often one of the biggest determinants of whether you win or lose a fight. Let's move on to fragments. In terms of fragments, Gunslinger has a generous 5 slots available and this is what I recommend you equip. Ember of Torches is mandatory. Powered melee attacks against opponents make you and nearby allies radiant, but see, here's the thing. When paired with Knock'em Down, this means that you will get your melee ability fully refunded if you kill someone with your knife. 
right. For example, if you've ever wondered how players can just chain heavy knife kills back to back, this is how they're doing it. But similarly, if you finish someone with a proximity knife or a knife trick, you literally get your ability back straight away. It's amazing. Amber of Resolve means that grenade kills cure you. In other words, you instantly get a chunk of health when people die to your grenades. This one's a no-brainer. Amber of Searing grants plus 10 recovery and defeating scorched targets grants melee energy and creates a fire spray. As a gunslinger, you will be scorching people regularly with your trip mines, creating fire sprites which will regenerate your health very quickly after picking them up, letting you move immediately to the next engagement. Amber of Mercy. When you revive an ally, you and other nearby allies gain restoration. Picking up a fire sprite also grants restoration. See how this synergizes with Ember of Searing? Searing creates fire sprites in every engagement where a grenade is involved, and Mercy means those fire sprites grant restoration. Ember of Ashes increases the amount of Scorch stacks applied to targets. Scorch was actually very recently buffed in PvP. Now Scorch stacks take longer to dissipate, meaning that your opponents will continue to burn for longer, unable to regenerate their health and shields. This base buff is already great news, but when paired with Ember of Ashes, which increases the amount of Scorch stacks that your tripmine grenades will apply to the enemy, it means that even if your opponent doesn't die, they will be 1 HP burning and out of the fight for a very long time. Just quickly guys, don't forget that channel memberships are now live, which entitle you to amazing bonuses like PvP coaching, an exclusive Discord, and trials cards with yours truly. You can check that out over here. In terms of abilities, this is what I recommend using. For your class ability, my strong recommendation is that you use Gambler's Dodge. The utility of getting back your melee ability just by dodging close to opponents is amazingly useful with Gunslinger, plus that Gambler's Dodge also has the most streamlined animation, which contorts your hitbox, making you harder to hit and breaking aim assist. For your melee ability, you can choose between Heavy Knife, Proximity Knife, or Lightweight Knife, but I recommend that you use Proximity Knife as you can place the knife and the grenade at the same spot and the combined damage will easily one-hit kill a Guardian or multiple Guardians. This is the Wombo combo for Gunslingers and is extremely useful. If the grenade gets the kill, then you get cured. If the knife gets the kill, you get your knife back straight away. And in either case, you create a Fire Sprite that provides restoration and generates free melee energy. And obviously, in terms of grenade choice, it is essential that you equip the Trip Mine Grenade for this build. In terms of meta, I can safely tell you that we are in an auto rifle meta right now. After the recent buffs to auto rifle range in Season of the Witch, they have become a dominant versatile weapon class that can challenge from virtually every range. Not only that, they are accessible and forgiving weapons for both new players and seasoned veterans. The most popular auto rifle right now, which also happens to be craftable, is the Armored AR2, which performs excellently on both controller and MK. I highly recommend it. Otherwise, if you prefer a longer range, range chunk damage peak shooting style play then i recommend using the igneous hammer quite literally the best 120 rpm hand cannon in the game which has recently returned to trials this season rather conveniently of course both of these weapons are solar and synergize excellently with this build in terms of special weapons, I recommend using a good shotgun in the Kinect slot, like the Wastelander or Fractithus from Dares of Eternity, the new Swordbreaker shotgun from Crota's End, or the Craftable Imperial Decree, which you can get by watching this video over here. In terms of mods, I recommend using Targeting, Dexterity, Grenade Kickstart, Unflinching, Holster, Bomber times 3 and remember you don't need fastball on your arms because fastball is an intrinsic perk of young Ahamkara's spine. Stats wise you'll want to prioritize recovery, discipline and mobility in that order though ideally you would have 100 in each. To make things easier for you though you can always just check out the dim link below for the young Ahamkara's build which I'm currently using with Gunslinger. By the way if you are enjoying my content I do have a Patreon now which comes with amazing benefits for members. If you're finding it hard to get your footing in the crucible then how about weekly one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with me or playing trials and comp with me personally every week not to mention exclusive access to a vip discord where you'll have direct access to me and other patrons plus you'll get a personal shout out in all of my future videos kind of like this as i've said many times before as a small content creator i am living lean we're talking i eat ramen every day lean so 100 percent of my patreon fund goes towards helping me put food in my stomach so i can keep making more videos for you so if you're interested in taking your crucible experience to the next level while also stopping me from becoming a broken husk of a man then check out my patreon in the description below and as usual i'll see you all in the crucible